<laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you would get it done in half the time. <laughs> Howdy, partners. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This continues on the assignment Morgan has taken on from a reporter to get photographs and some information from known Western outlaws. And he's writing a book about another outlaw, and he wants. Morgan to get the information like quotes or something like that along those lines and well this is the next person you can do them in any order I did Billy Midnight and I did Black Bell a while back but this guy is Emmett Granger that Morgan is now going to find, and, well, none of, none of these things really turn out exactly the way they are intended to. I mean, this is the same company that made GTA V, and nothing is ever easy. So let's get on with the interview with Emmett Granger. You. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? you used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. Well, you know, you got to do what you got to do in order to get the stories. And, well, it's not pleasant, but you wind up getting some stories, and this guy is a bit of a blowhard. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks. Skinned folks. I scalp some. <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Very folks alive. One time, I... Man, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girlie. If I a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> That's a sloppy one. Get your back into it, boy. You ain't done. Bully pig shit, sonny. You work shy or something, boy? Come on! Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. Alright. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. 
Uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote for the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness. <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away right now. Don't do it! There you go. No. No. No! You didn't know! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killer. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw. It's gonna be the last thing you do. This is where he got a chance to gun the guy down, and, well, if you don't do it, you get into a fight, and, and yeah, it's, this guy is attacking you, and you gotta fight back, for some reason the gun doesn't work, but, well, you knock him down. Now I got to take a picture, and I lost Billy Midnight's uh, gun, and I got to pick that up. So let's take the photo first. I got to get the thing just right here. Uh, that's not a good picture, so I'll move around to try and get a decent picture. And there you go. The thing that I don't like is the controls. And I, I've, I've spoken about them before. They can be a little confusing and a little problematic when it comes to Red Dead Redemption 2. That's why I kind of stopped playing it when I first started. Is mainly the whole control thing. Now I want to go pick up Billy Midnight's repeater. I don't care about this guy's revolver but I'll loot him here and never miss an opportunity to loot that's one of the great things about this game you can kind of build up some extra money I'm Brad proprietor of Barstool Entertainment if you like this video hit the thumbs up button leave a comment I try and respond to all of them I post four videos a week and if you want to stay informed, hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you will be informed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for stopping by.